What's up guys, my name's Adapt, welcome back to the third video in the row as I'm recording right now, so we're taking a look at PSG so if you want to use PSG in this demo then here is the best team in my opinion and the best lineup to you so let's go ahead and get started with the 41212 bracket 2 formation now I didn't have much option guys I had to they will set up in a free back formation if you're using a free back formation you're asking for trouble and PSG don't have the players to be able to play in a free back they haven't got good enough players to be amazing attacking wise they've got Neymar, Cavani and Mbappe but other than that Herrera, Draxler, Verratti they're a bit suspect in my opinion now Verratti is a great player in real life but in this game he just doesn't fit the metal and he just isn't strong enough in my opinion so 4 one 2 one 2 wide in my opinion is ideal Kimbempe had to miss out but I've also got Di Marie on the bench that two star week for he just can't make it in the team because every time he gets on his weaker foot he's going to take a bad shot and it's happened too many times in previous FIFAs where I've had the ball with Di Maria and he's just hit the shot wide a perfect one on one and he's hit it miles wide and I just can't be bothered dealing with that guys and you guys are probably sick of it as well but Di Maria just isn't going to get into the starting lineup we've got Adrissa Gay on the bench who was going to get into the squad but, but I had to think about this one and I picked Draxler over him because he can't really play a centre mid role you guys can see on his card it says CDM only so I took that advice and I put Draxler in the centre mid role instead of Adrissa Gay this is how the bench is looking. We got Sarabia on the bench, newly transferred, and these are the reserves right here. Hesse was a very good player at one point. He was at Real Madrid and everything. Now he's 75 rated, and he's got 80 pace. I don't know how you lose that much pace. He was 90 plus pace not too long ago, and now he's 80 pace. EA have done him dirty. But true promoting is on the reserves as well, just didn't make it in there, just isn't good enough. So this is how the team lines up. We've got Ariola in goal. Who else is there? I know that PSG have bought Kalo Navas. I'm not 100 percent sure if that's confirmed. The transfer window is shot by now. It was shot quite a bit of time ago, but I just can't remember if that Navas transfer went through. I know people are talking about Navas going to PSG, but did that transfer go through? and if it did why isn't he on this team maybe it's the demo i'm not 100 percent sure guys so don't quote me on that one i'm not 100 percent sure if navas is at psg so munier in the right back role not really any other good right backs in this team to be honest with you guys and Munier is the only really good one marquinhos is definitely going to get ahead of kim Bempe. he's just better in probably near enough every stat he's just higher rated by four so he's higher rated by quite a bit and Thiago Silva is in the center back role I've never been too sure about his work rates but his work rates are better this year with medium high they were usually quite bad and he wasn't able to stay in position then in the left back row I have Bernat not much of an option to be honest with you guys then we have Ander Herrera in the left centre mid role, Verratti in the centre. Now Verratti is a tough one with him because I know how good he is in real life but he just isn't tall enough, he isn't strong enough. EA haven't given him enough physical presence to play that DM role on his own and you guys are going to see me go against myself in the player instructions. But this is what I always say guys, it depends on the player you're setting the instruction on, it's all different in comparison to the type of player you have and how they are suited to the game now i don't know about the demo yet i haven't played it yet but this is my initial impressions my experience of fifa over the years and what i think is best to do so i've got Verratti in the dm role then draxler five star weak play is always nice four star skill moves and i've been a fan of dragster for years there was a fifa it was very overpowered it was an 80 rated cam i think it was fifa 14 this card was broken 
and I've just always been a fan of Draxler for a very long time. And in the cam role, I have Neymar. Now, Neymar, you just can't miss out in this team. His official rating is 92 on Ultimate Team, but on this demo, he's 91 rated. 5 star, 5 star. That's very nice to see. It doesn't matter what foot he takes the ball on, he's not going to have a problem. Then we have Mbappe and Cavani up top. Of course, Mbappe is getting in there, 89 striker. He's had an absolutely amazing year and he's not missing out in this starting 11. Nobody's going to get over him on the bench or in the reserves. And then in the right strike role, I've got Cavani who unfortunately pace is very important in this game. So he isn't as good as he should be. Maybe if he gets a couple informs in ultimate team, he will have better pace and he will actually be usable. We had a team this season last year in fifa 19 it's weird saying that now because this fifa 19 is the last game now this is the fifa 20 demo but it's something different and the full game is going to be out very soon so three star skill moves isn't ideal i can deal with it though i'm not much of a skiller four star week for at least he's four star week for that's important and he has got good shooting stats, he's a finisher, he's more of a target man. Someone who you rely on to get his head onto the ball and score a header from a set piece, score a goal out of nothing. Then getting into custom tactics, I've got drop back, I have to guys, I have to use drop back. I really don't have much choice, Verratti isn't good enough to play a DM role on his own, so what my intentions are is for me to buy myself some time by my team dropping back and my opposition being stuck and confused on what to do and as my opposition is being apprehensive in his passing because i'm dropping deeper and deeper and getting frustrated i need and herrera or draxler or someone else on the team to nick the ball off of them because if Verratti is left on his own without any cover for him he's gonna get absolutely exposed because he just isn't strong enough to play that dm role on his own and he hasn't got enough physical presence to make key tackles and very important interceptions so we've got four bars of width and four bars of depth we're using the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow anyway you'd expect it to be lower for defensive style i've got a width at six bars that's ideal i've got mbappe with very good pace i've got neymar with, with quite good pace but we are playing the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow so for me this width is lower i usually have width one bar higher most of the time maybe even two bars higher sometimes but I think this width is reasonable. Players in the box have got it at four bars. I've turned it down lower from what I'd usually have, but I'm not eliminating the chance of Cavani being able to score a header or even anyone else in the team. There are some taller players, Draxler, six foot two, Cavani. I don't know how tall he is. Mbappe isn't short, so there are still players who can score headers. Then we have three bars of corners. And I have one ball free kicks like I normally use most of the time. It's very rare that I don't have that. Now getting into the player roles, Thiago Silva is the captain. I just left it out how it is. Now you guys are going to see exactly why I've got Neymar on every single set piece. Just look at that. In comparison to everyone else on the team, just miles better when it comes to curve, free kick, accuracy finishing Mbappe and Cavani have better finishing but his curve and free kick accuracy which are the main stats you look at for free kicks Neymar has got higher stats by far now that's why I've got him on long free kicks as well as penalties 90 penalties nobody's really got higher than 90 penalties Mbappe's got 70 penalties Cavani's got 85 penalties so Neymar is on penalties and it doesn't matter you can have Neymar on left corners or right corners he's got five star weak foot so it doesn't matter anyway so that's why I've got Neymar on both the left and the right corner and he's got 88 curb as well now getting into the player instructions I have stay back goal attacking on both full backs now on Verratti I wouldn't normally have cut passing lanes on a DM in one DM formations until I absolutely know the meta of the game like last year cut passing lanes was very overpowered but I'm not too sure about this FIFA but a player like Verratti you have to put him on cut passing lanes because he can't man mark because he hasn't got a huge physical presence 
and he isn't the type of player to be able to make great standing tackles and make great interceptions so i've got him on cut passing lane stable cover attacking and cover wing and herrera is going to help him out and when my team dro drops back he's going to drop between the defenders and provide support for Verratti. so i don't get exposed defensively but Verratti, I haven't got him on cover center, which I'll normally have my DMs on. I've got Herrera filling in for him and playing that role. Then the right center mid role, I haven't got Drax on get forward because I need defensive support because I'm not 100% confident in Verratti's defensive abilities. So I've only got Drax on getting to the box for the cross because getting to the box for the cross is very essential for me. But I haven't put him on get forward. But I've got Neymar playing as my cam in this team anyway. So I've got him on stay forward and get into the box for the cross. Now for Cavani, being a slower player, not a type of player you would have on getting behind. I've just got him on stay central and conservative interceptions and stay forward as well. Because I want Cavani to conserve his energy as much as possible. I don't want him wasting his energy because it could be vital later on in the game. And he hasn't got a lot of pace. So I don't want to be wasting his energy unnecessarily then i've got mbappe playing that aggressive striker role and putting pressure on my opposition so i've got him on aggressive interceptions attacking wise i've got him on getting behind because i know how good he is at getting in behind defenders and you would assume that because of how good his pace is and how much of a physical presence he has and for his defensive support i have left it on basic because I know he can get back and help the team because he has got a lot of pace, a lot of acceleration. He's able to get back in position if I am to quickly counter attack and take the ball off of my opposition. So guys, those are the custom tactics. Those are the player instructions. That is the best lineup for PSG in my opinion. These are just initial impressions. If you guys are new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. There's going to be much more FIFA 20 content coming soon to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Peace.